Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of September 2024. I'm going to pull for you an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions, whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know right now. I will definitely take a look and see who's showing up, okay? I'll get their feelings for you, your feelings for them. I'll get their intentions with you and their next actions and behavior towards you. And I'll also deep dive into what could be, you know, troubling you the most right now, whether it has anything to do with your love life or it's related to maybe your career, your money, your family, personal stuff, things like that. And I'll see what type of advice I can offer you. Just keep an open mind, Aquarius, that I do get very nosy in my readings. I don't hold back messages and I do not sugarcoat. Sometimes my readings can be light and fluffy, full of new love and whatever. And then other times it's heavy, intense, toxic messages come through and possible divorces, you know? Just only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you are always in full control of your choices. So with that preamble out of the way, I'm going to get nosy. Let's do it. All right, please tap into the energy of Aquarius today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who's heading towards them this week? What can Aquarius expect out of this situation? What's their story going to be? Two more shuffles, eight card spread. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful aqua babies. All right, so the person you may be dealing with, how do they feel about you? We have the Chariot, Major Arcana for Aquarius. I mean, rewind, Major Arcana for Cancer. Your person's intentions. The Lover's card, Major for Gemini. Their actions and behavior. The Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Dang, they know what they want. <laughs> and they want you. Wow, it's nice to see someone, you know, confident in their, their direction that they're taking. This is someone that knows what they want and they want you. Look at that. The map shows X marks the spot. Um, let's take a look at how you feel. The seven of wands, that's fire energy. The potential challenge this week. Seven of swords. Is it focusing? I wanna make sure you can see the card. There we go. And your potential weekly outcome. The queen of swords, that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You're definitely using your discernment with this person. You're keeping a close eye on this person. It's strongly showing me that. You've got someone coming towards you with a lot of um, romance in their energy, wanting to pursue you strongly, but you're definitely not being someone that's just going to like let someone like come towards you and, you know, and not like look at them a little bit closer. It's like you're, you're definitely, you know, being mindful of you know, whether or not you could trust this person. Your advice, three of pentacles, or of energy. The overall energy influencing this, the high priestess, major for Pisces, influenced by the star, major for Aquarius. And then I see the two of wands. So Aquarius, you've got somebody this week that feels like they know what they want and they want you. They want you more than you friggin' know. But I definitely understand where you're coming from, where you may feel like you need more information. All right, because what's challenging this situation is you don't fully trust this person just yet. Whether it's because they may have done you dirty already or you've already been betrayed you know, in the past, whether by this person or by somebody else, you're someone that knows that not everyone has good intentions and you just wanna make sure that this person is someone that has good intentions with you, all right? You just know that there's two types of people, you know, good and bad, and you just wanna make sure that you're not falling for someone, you know, who's very charming and will end up hurting you in the end. So you've got someone that's planning to come towards you really quickly all right, and their intentions is to get things going with you. It feels like this is someone brand new, someone that you may be in the early talking stage with, with that two of wands energy. You guys just recently exchanged numbers. You have been talking, texting, what, whatnot, maybe even gone on a date, and this person's just trying to bring you even closer. And for some of you, this could be someone just returning to your life, and you're kind of like trying to not get too caught up in the romance. Yeah, you think they look good. Yeah, there's feelings on both sides, 
but you're you're definitely keeping your wits about yourself this person is making a plan to come towards you and they're being very patient about how they do this they know that they don't want to make any careless mistakes or treat this connection loosely all right but you are coming in with your defenses up because with your feelings for this person being the seven of wands and the seven of swords being in the challenge which is aquarius energy you're in this energy of yeah i see you but i've got my defenses up fool me once shame on me fool or shame on you fool me twice shame on me you're, you're not wanting to be played you don't want to be played and i don't blame you so the weekly outcome shows me you sharing with this person what's on your mind you know if my camera would get it together come on camera here we go so your advice is to connect with this person you know get get more information off of them you know the more time you're around this person the more you'll be able to pick up on whether or not they are wearing a facade and that they're wearing a mask or if they are generally a cool person that just wants to get to know you it feels like yeah this feels like new new romance new love okay so let's clarify all right let's start with the chariot and then i open up to the fool and the king of cups now the fool that's that's taking a chance taking a chance you know in regards to their heart especially with that king of cups being there okay this is someone that might be very sensitive and then i open up to the queen of cups and the moon this may be someone very sensitive where um they've got a big heart and you know they don't follow they don't follow the crowd that's for sure they are someone that is content doing their own thing but then when they meet someone that they feel like gets them on a deeper level that's when they they welcome someone into their life it's like this is someone that may be usually an introvert and they like to have their own space but when they meet people that they feel like gets them on a deeper level they they bring that person in on their space you know they are someone that likes one-on-one -on -one deep connections they don't like a big group it's kind of what that's telling me why the chariot for how this person feels the queen of pentacles and the justice card now the queen of pentacles that's all about you know bringing a lot of practicality to the situation does being together seem practical do you guys have what it takes to merge your your lives together will it make sense you know it's like this person's wanting to make sure that they could actually build something solid with you and that's what that knight of pentacles is talking about whoever this person is they're thinking long term not just with you but with anyone in general it's like before they take a leap they want to make sure that there's actual longevity attached to the situation they are someone that understands that you know every decision comes with a consequence whether a negative consequence or a positive this is someone that's really you know trying to be fair because with the justice card in their feelings clarifying their feelings this is someone that feels like they like to be truthful and forthcoming all right I don't know about this cap uh, I almost called you Capricorn I don't know about this Aquarius it does feel like this person is trying to be 100% with you but if your intuition is leaving you feeling like you've got to look at them in a little closer way don't let this reading tell you to go towards someone that your intuition is telling you to run away from okay this may not be your message if you feel like you can't trust someone then you need to investigate that don't let this reading you know tell you to ignore your intuition and go towards someone if you're not trusting it let me look at their intentions all right their intentions is the lover's card now the lover's card is also about choices and just when i say that i open up to the chariot and the two of pentacles we get the chariot repeatedly showing up the number two again clarify the lovers why is this this person's intentions page of swords they intend to get to know you more the page of swords is a student the page of swords is someone that is open and receptive to learning more about somebody yeah Aquarius this feels like this is someone that you relatively um I can't speak for some reason rewind this is someone that feels like you just met them like you, you met them not too long ago like you are new to them and they're 
wanting to learn more about you. Two of Wands. Can I have another card on their intentions? Page of Swords is texting. Page of Swords is um, sharing each other's social media so you can get a look at their life, you know, before you even came along. Access to their Facebook, Instagram, look at all their photos. It's like they're they're wanting you to like, you know, have all the answers that you're looking for in regards to them. They're like, hey, I'm an open book. You know, ask me any question you have. Give me another card on their intentions with Cap or Aquarius. I keep on wanting to call you Capricorn. Six of Cups. Another six. Now the Six of Cups, that's the energy of reflecting on the past. And then I see the Six of Swords, which is the energy of moving on from the past. Their intentions is to move on from the past. They're not wanting to repeat the past, relive the past, or anything like that. They're trying to stay present. This is someone that's trying to stay as present as possible. Okay? They don't want to talk about exes. They don't want to talk about, you know, anything that you regret from your past. It's, it's definitely the energy of, we're here right now, let's not worry about the past. You know, we all did things, you know, that we are not proud of. We all learned from it, you know? And it's like, they don't want to hear about your ex, and they don't want to talk about their ex. So if you've got some reservations because of an ex, you know, screwing you over, I feel like that's different. I feel like they'd be open to hearing about that, but not if it's not, you know, pertinent to you guys' situation. Clarify Aquarius's feelings, why the Seven of Wands, the Magician, and then I got the Four of Cups, and then I see the Seven of Swords. Yeah, Aquarius, you're in this energy of, I don't know about this situation. I don't want to get hurt. You're acknowledging that you manifested this person in with the Magician, and you're trying to stay confident, but there's a part of you that's just wanting to ignore this situation altogether and hope that this person will just back off and leave you alone. But there's a part of you that doesn't want them to leave you alone. You're, you're in a weird space, Aquarius. It's like, on the one hand, you want this person to give you attention, to pursue this with you. And then on the other hand, you're like, can they just, just leave me alone? It'll make things easier. It's like you got your defenses up. And I can see why. I definitely can see why with that Seven of Swords there. You know what? Let me break that down. Because the Seven of Swords is coming up twice for you. Um, I mean, if you're not ready to date because you're still working on something that happened to you um, in relation to someone else, then definitely talk to this person. Be like, look, you're great. I'm just not ready to date anybody. I feel like I'm still dealing with some past stuff and I don't want it to affect our relationship. And maybe this person will be like, okay, talk to me about it though. Uh, why the Seven of Swords? The Strength card and the Lover's card. Look at that. You don't have confidence in in the situation just yet. You don't feel confident that, that this person is going to be 100% with you. The Lover's card came up twice. Showing me that you guys um, were brought to each other for a reason. I feel like you both were supposed to like trigger something inside of each other. That's going to help you both look at what needs to be healed. You know, it's like someone's reflecting back at you what you may still need to work on within yourself. So that way, you know, this isn't going to like haunt you going forward. Yeah, someone hurt you bad, it feels like. And I'm really sorry about that, Aquarius. You know, there's some shitty people out there. But there's also a lot of good people too. A lot of good people. All you need is discernment. And your intuition and we can navigate through you know the, the good people and the bad people you know as long as you have your discernment and your intuition I feel like that is the best you know to lead with okay but if your you know red flag alert is going off in regards to this person don't ignore it don't ignore it okay but if you feel like it's going off because, you know, fear of the unknown, maybe give the unknown a name so it won't be so unknown. It will be more familiar. This person's behavior and actions is the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like they're going to slow down their efforts if they feel like they're scaring you off. Like if they're triggering you 
you know, to run and hide. They don't want to to lose lose it. So it's like they might start to slow down with that Knight of Pentacles energy. It's like they're willing to uh, go at your pace. Ah, really? Aquarius, it feels like this person's like, hey. I'll go at your pace. If you want me to go slow, I'll go slow. You know, if you want me to speed this up, I will. Whatever. It's like this person's willing to uh, go at your pace. Hmm. I hope this is making sense. Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This is the energy of protecting what one values, protecting a relationship, protecting a commitment. Taurus, Capricorn energy. It feels like this person is going to pace themselves in order to protect the future of this relationship. So it's almost like you're letting this person know, look, my ex just screwed me over big time. I, I, I can't just jump in on this, okay? I'm kind of like, I got a chip on my shoulder. You can understand why. And you're, it's like you're talking to this person about this this week. You're having a very serious conversation with this person, Aquarius, and you're letting them know, look, it ain't you, but you know, this is what's going on. This is how, how things have been for me. You can understand my, my position, okay? Why the Queen of Swords for Aquarius's weekly outcome? Page of Cups, King of Swords. That's a, that's a heart to heart, or not a heart to heart. That's a, you know, that's a very mindful conversation. That's two people cutting straight to the point and saying what's on their mind. I got like a very similar message off of Capricorn's reading. I remember that. I remember saying this exact, this exact set, sentence. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but you may have strong Capricorn in your chart or you're a cusper or there's um, something related to someone's Saturn return. Maybe someone's going through a Saturn return. Isn't that what, every 27 years? I believe it's every 27 years. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, please. Um, but I am getting where someone's wanting to really like talk. It's like, let's talk, all right? But it's, it's got like um, a, a sweet little outcome here with the Page of Cups. All right, let's clarify your advice. You got the Three of Pentacles as your advice. Why the Three of Pentacles? Now re remember, roles can be reversed. The Sun, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and then I see the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, if you feel, you know, stressed about putting in effort with this person with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, take your time getting to know them as a friend. You know, maybe that's your advice. Be a friend with this person and be like, look, let's not start the romance stuff yet. I, I want to get to know you. I want to figure out who you are. I don't want to get screwed over. Maybe this is someone that you met at the workplace. Um, all I know is it's an opportunity and new love with that Ace of Cups. So it is kind of confirming that this is not an ex. This is someone relatively new in your life that you're trying to build something with. Clarify the High Priestess and the Star. The Emperor in Reverse and the Eight of Wands. I'm strongly getting someone that dealt with a tyrant, dealt with like a narcissist, okay? Because the Emperor in Reverse is someone with narcissistic tendencies, that has control issues, all right? And that could be what you're keeping to yourself or this person's keeping to themselves if this is flipped. But it's like someone's still healing and recovering from maybe dealing with a narcissist or someone that had those type of characteristics. You know, someone that played the victim even though they were the villain in their story, you know, or did a smear campaign on you or told everybody that you were the problem. It's like you're having trouble trusting again is what it feels like, Aquarius. It's like... I don't know, you, you definitely dealt with someone that really showed you how gnarly people can get, all right, if you don't vet them carefully. Not just with romantic partners, but colleagues, friendships, heck, even family members. I feel like I have an Aquarius that's like, I've seen some stuff. I've, I've seen some stuff, I've learned some stuff, I've seen how cruel people can get, and I'm not playing anymore. 
not playing with my heart. Nope, not gonna get played again. You know, so you're always like lurking, trying to watch, study someone's behavior to see if they slip up in front of you. Ooh, Aquarius. You're, you've gained a lot of wisdom from whatever that experience was. So even though, yeah, it stings to get screwed over by people that you care about, it, it helped you gain a lot of wisdom, though, to where you won't be messed with again. That's for sure. The Queen of Swords becomes the Queen of Swords because of the hardship she's endured, or he. You know, the Queen of Swords usually comes up as a divorced woman for me, um, an ex, someone that's been in her fair share of heartache. It's also a widower or someone that's been stabbed in the back more times than they can care to admit, but has recovered and is not gonna be, you know, so easy fooled again. All right, it's like you're saying to, to anyone that wants to come at you, go ahead, try, because I could see right through you now. You know, you've, you've gotten really strong, Aquarius. I feel cold all of a sudden. I don't know, maybe it's this cat freezing on that branch. It's like, you needed to go through this, Aquarius, because maybe you were too trusting in the past, because you're a humanitarian. Aquarians have big hearts. You guys are the water bearer. A lot of people like to call you cold-hearted and emotionless, but you're not. It's the complete opposite. The water bearer carries all the emotions of the other zodiac signs. That's a lot of responsibility. You're, you're the one that's like, you know, managing everyone's feelings. So maybe you're like the mom of the friendship group or the dad of the group. You're always wor worrying about everyone's needs and you put yourself last sometimes. But you're definitely a, a kind-hearted person. But sometimes you may have been too too kind and too like ready to like let people in because you care. But the universe needed to put you through some challenging times in order for you to not be so quick to let everyone in. You know, we got to go through uncomfortable situations to learn from from them because that might pre prepare us for something that may have been worse in the future, right? You know? Hmm. Like if, if you dealt with someone with narcissistic tendencies, yeah, that stinks, but at least it got you prepared to spot the, the you know, spot the red flags early on so that way you can avoid maybe a full-blown narciss narcissist in the future, you know? So you avoid something bigger by going through that situation. All right, I'm gonna get off of that. But I am feeling like whoever this person is, they're willing to take it slow with you. I need more clarifiers. I hope this is making sense. You got someone that, that really wants you big time, but they're willing to go at your pace. For some of you, this is someone that you just recently met and they're like maybe a friend or a coworker or you were just introduced by friends of a friend and you're like, yeah, this person's cute and all, but I don't know. Let me take it slow with this person. You definitely got your defenses up. Please clarify this person's energy. Page of Swords. That's them like watching you, but not in a creepy way. In reverse, it would be a creepy way. That's a lot of texting, a lot of phone calls. It's like this person wants to talk to you as much as you need to for you to understand them a little bit. Get to know them a little bit. Pick up on their true character. King of Wands, Page of Cups, the Moon. Give me more on Aquarius' energy, please. King of Pentacles, you're rock solid. You're like unbreakable. You're in this energy of, I just dare someone try to come at me again. All right, I just dare. But I do feel like you're gonna soften up with this person in the near future. But right now you feel like you have no choice but to come in this way just to show someone how you wanna be treated. It's like, hey, I'm not tolerating anything. Give me more on this Seven of Swords. For some of you, if it wasn't someone that had narcissistic tendencies, it could have been someone very avoidant. Like, um, 
maybe you were dating somebody and things were going good but there was like something that was bothering you and you went to confront them and instead of them like working it out with you they went ghost very avoidant you know, like they don't handle com conflict well or confrontation too well. And instead of being like, hey, we can work on this, they just disappeared. And now you don't know who the hell to let in. Like maybe you've been dealing with avoidant types. Where it's easier just to hit the block button and then to talk things out. And you're like, I don't know if I want to deal with this dating stuff anymore. Or if you are a divorcee and you went through a divorce and you're like, oh, do I have to really start over again? Sex of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of, um, of self-reflecting that you're being guided to do on your past and, you know, really, really see if you can pick up what a lot of those experiences were trying to teach you. What are some of the lessons? And then understand them a little bit more. Like, I've, I've been through my fair share of people who have narcissistic tendency. And, you know, after sitting with my thoughts and feelings, I'm like, oh, okay. I understand what that taught me. I, I appreciate it now. I appreciate it now because now I can, I can handle the big dogs. You know, people who are more, more uh, dangerous than the people that I was dealing with. You know? Got to look at it in different perspectives and understand the lesson. The Eight of Swords, breaking free. Breaking free from, you know, your mind. Maybe your mind is running wild right now. There's someone trying to get your attention, Aquarius, and you're just, like, worried about giving them the attention in return. You know, you don't want to regret it. You don't want to regret it. Whew. All right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get the hidden message for those of you who are in no contact with somebody. But because it feels like this is a new person, so they don't I don't feel like they are a part of these cards because this is for my no contact group or people that you've been dealing with for a while and you're just trying to figure out what their true feelings are. I feel like this is someone new in your life that's that's already being expressive about what's going on with them. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, an Aries, a Libra, a Leo. Um, pretty much everyone came up in the reading. Please rock that like and subscribe button if you're a girl. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Baddison. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs, Their Feelings Fuse spread, where I do a similar spread, but, you know, I show my face and I'm more engaging with you on air. It helps me pick up on your energy and target your, your situation. So I'll link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did, because it's still good for the week. All you have to do is click on that All Signs video and then go to the Aquarius timestamp, and it'll give you another look at your love life. And do check out your September monthly. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Oh, for some reason my camera does not focus on these cards. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth, but I want a new beginning. For some of you, you got someone coming back wanting a reconciliation and you're like, I don't know about this. You've already hurt me before. That could be what I'm getting for you too, Aquarius. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw it through me. You know the truth about me. So that's for you. I hope this helps. I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. I love it. I love you. Take good care of yourself, okay? Always listen to your own intuition before a reading. Don't make a decision off of a reading. Again, if your heart is saying, no, this is a red flag, don't go towards that person. If your heart is saying, no, stop, all right? Just, just let this be entertainment purposes only, okay? I don't want you to get yourself in a situation that's going to be difficult for you. All right. So I hope this helps. I love you. Take care. Namaste.